Hey there, Jed Coburn is here with The Exercise Physiology Show, where I talk about the physiology of the mind, physiology of the body, and the physiology of the spirit. Today's episode, we talk about three easy, simple, non-invasive body measurements. Okay? Give it a shot. Check it out. Before starting any exercise program, always get cleared by a primary care doctor. Today we are measuring, okay? Measure, right? First of all, let's be realistic with what the outcome is. Um, <clears throat> What are, you, what are you looking for, right? My philosophy is always keep it simple, right? The KISS, KISS philosophy, keep it simple, silly. There are many points on the body, head to toe, that you can, um, that you can measure, right? The thing is, is consistency um, and, and basically not overthinking it. Don't ever overthink it. This is just to measure progress on the days that we want to compare, right? We always want to compare to what we were before to measure that we are actually doing something. I get that. I'm not outside of that. I'm constantly going, am I looking better? And then I go, oh wait, I'm going to get in my own head and go, heck yeah, I'm looking better because I feel better. I'm stronger. I can move, right? That's your point. That's what you want to be getting at. Not am I, you know, am I losing weight on the scale? Am I fitting smaller with my tape measure? But I get it. You need the external sources to help. You need something tangible that you can take with you. Okay, so I understand that. So here it is, right? Three very easy, very very easy points because it doesn't matter, right? At the end of the day, it does not matter. Science, sure, there is some good science to to back some of this up to as far as where to measure, but you're you're not. You know, you don't have to be a professional, you know, an exercise physiologist, right? You don't have to be, that's what I am. You don't have to be that to find your own uh, measurements. So you're going to take, this is what I would do, right? If I were you, this is what I do personally. You take your tape measure, you go right in kind of the middle of your bicep and your tricep, the middle of your upper arm, and then you do the best you can, right? That's all you're going to do. You're going to be consistent with it. You're going to have the exact same amount of clothing on every time. You're going to measure, right? So I get, which looks like 33 and 3 quarters, okay? That's what mine looks like, 33 and 3 quarters, okay? Your next measurement, forget everything else, right? If you want to do bust and stuff like that, great. Um, that's, you know, just before the delt meets right into the attachment. That's just a little bit too obsessive because then you're going, well, is that too high or is that too low or what should I do? Then you get overwhelmed and then you do nothing. Don't do that, okay? Three spots, right arm, somewhere in between. Make sure you remember, this is gonna sound weird, but this is who I am, I'm weird. I have a mole right there, right? I go at that mole, I cover my, right? I cover it up with the tape measure. That's my point of reference. Be consistent with that, okay? Next one is your belly button. Everybody, I should say everybody, but most people have a belly button, okay? There's some people out there that don't, and that's okay, but find your belly button and measure around that, okay? Find your belly button and measure around that. This tape measure is uh, my son's when he was born. I couldn't find my other um, soft tape measure, and both the kids are in bed, and I'm not going to wake them up. Sorry, but I'm not. Once they're, once they're asleep, they're asleep, right? So you're going to go around your belly button, and you're going to measure that. So how do you know, right? You can either let it all out. You can inhale and keep it out. Whatever that is, whatever that looks like for you, you're going to keep it consistent. What do I do is I, I try to relax as much as I can, find my belly button, bring it around, and then I measure, right? Because at that point, I'm not flexing anything, I'm not turning any muscle, uh, or flexing any muscle to make anything go away or pop out, whatever it is, and that's how I stay consistent with what I have 
in here, and that you can tell right away. Okay, that is this is something where it usually comes off um, last for a lot of people, but that you still will see progress with a belly button measurement. Okay, the other part is legs, right? So right here, okay, you're gonna go somewhere in between the kneecap and the hip, right? That's it. Don't have to do because you can do like the top of the hips. You gotta find, you know where your hip joint is, doesn't matter, keep it simple, right? Wherever it is, go on your leg. I usually just go right in the middle of my thigh and I stay right there, right? So if you would flex, if a person flexes, you got, you know, some muscle all the way in between, um, you know, you got your vastus medialis, you got your vastus lateralis, right? You may not know what, you may not know what that looks like or feels like, and that's okay. So that's why you don't need to worry about that. You're just gonna go right in the middle and find your landmark, right? Find a landmark where you're like, okay, and stay consistent with it, right? Stay consistent where with wherever you're at. I have 24 inches, okay? 24, not bad. I've stayed at 24 for about a month. I would like to see bigger legs because I want stronger legs, but that's just me. So that is three points, right? Three points, that's all you need. Stay consistent. And now, if you're like, well, I don't want to lift up my leg, whatever it be, go over your clothes, which will add to it the circumference, but that's okay. And then wear these clothes again while you measure. Because if you if you take the all the variables out of what you're measuring with, use the same measuring tape, go at the same time of day, go with the same clothes you're wearing, if you need a partner to do it, have your partner do it, but keep it consistent with the same partner, right? Consistency, take out all the variables of, of the measurement, right? Variables meaning like, it could be a half inch up or down, whatever. You're gonna get as close as you can. If you're off an eighth of an inch, if you're off a sixteenth of an inch, or, or a millimeter or a centimeter, I mean, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter, right? This is for this at the end of the day. It's for mental, it's for your mental game, okay? Give that a shot, three points of measurement. Everybody believes in you. Now you just have to look in that mirror and you have to believe in you. I, like I always say, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. We all believe in you. Your turn, bye for now.